Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you here with me today. I hope you're all doing well. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about their thoughts and feelings about you right now. So we're gonna see what the person on your mind is currently feeling and thinking about you. So there's three pals to choose from. This is pal number one with the rose quartz crystal. Pal number two with the yellow calcite crystal. In pile number three with the amethyst crystal. So please choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future and if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using today you'll find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And with that being said I'll see you on your reading. Hello my beautiful pal number one, welcome to everyone who chose the rose quartz crystal. So let's take a look at what is this person thinking and feeling about you. So we have the six of pentacles that you were drawn to and I'm sensing with this card pal number one that this person is feeling like very generous towards you, almost like they feel like they owe you something or like not necessarily owe you something but like they feel like they have to give back to you right like you've maybe been um you know with this person in some tough times you know maybe you've been there to support them in certain ways um either emotionally or like physically materialistically speaking um but either way i'm sensing that this person either because they feel it's not like they necessarily do it because they feel they are in like owing you something is just that they truly feel like you deserve okay all the best it's like this person is really worth it okay to invest my energy to invest my you know my intentions in in put in the effort into making this connection like 50 50 like feel equal feel like um you know it's not that just you investing in it but also like they are making sure they're offering back okay this is this card is about offering back about not only receiving but giving so i'm sensing that this person overall uh, has this sense of giving towards you of generosity of offering you you know like everything they have to put in their best intention and their best you know gestures out there and i'm sensing that maybe between you and this person is a deep friendship right could resonate with some of you in pile number one maybe you two are like really good friends or you've been together like uh, uh like for one another as friends or co-workers for a long time i see here with the pentacles there is this energy of commitment yeah like this person is willing to commit to you like to commit to you in like putting in the intention and effort and the best uh, in the best way possible as i said like they want to be there for you to support you to to be a reliable person in your life okay but let's take a look at the, your tarot cards and see more about these intentions these thoughts uh these feelings that this person has for you pal number one so we have the beautiful queen of cups there are feelings and thoughts for pal number one there are thoughts and feelings for pal number one nine of pentacles okay their thoughts and feelings for pal number one we have the ace of wands okay let's see one more so i'm sorry if i cut the video it's just that we've got the judgment in there and i need to cover it so i'm gonna put it like this but yeah so we've got all your four, four tarot cards ready so i do sense here you know um that there's that message of love and romantic energy because with the first card i couldn't say exactly if it was romantic you know like care and affection that they had for you or like willing to be there for you and commit in a romantic way or just in a platonic way but i do see here with the ace of wands you know this person is feeling like they want to start a connection with you a romantic one i i sense a lot of attraction yeah they see you very attractive they find you 
magnetic they feel very drawn to you okay pal number one with this ace of wands they are thinking about being intimate with you they they dream about being uh closer to you physically in uh, expressing their attraction to you not only uh, yeah like their affection as well we have the queen of cups so it's not only attraction but also love and caring deep caring i'm saying this person feels very empathic towards you very caring very affectionate emotionally very open and, and ready to open up to you and to like be romantic towards you to shower you with their affection with romantic gestures with um like expressing their feelings towards you and i see here also uh you know this generosity it comes from a place of love it comes from a place of um like not only just wanting to be with you in a physical way but also like really caring about you genuinely you know like about your well-being being there for you they want to have like that sort of stable committed relationship okay and they feel ready to commit to you they feel ready to offer you their like all their love and their heart to offer you their heart okay and i do see here yeah they are thinking about starting this new beginning this new fresh connection relationship with you the ace represents the start of a journey so they are thinking about confessing their feelings to you they are thinking about uh coming to to you with this offer of starting a new relationship of, of dating of asking you out uh expressing their passion their attraction that they feel for you okay um and i do sense that this person you know like really wants to have and uh like i want to uh, talk about this nine of uh, pentacles then another message were, was coming through like the message that was coming through was with the judgment that judgment represents a big decision right so i'm thinking that this person took a bit of time you know to to figure out what they want or like to make up their mind but i'm sensing like this decision is about like starting this fresh connection so either you were friends and this person was like taking their time to decide like whether it's going to be a good idea or not or you know like if you if you weren't friends but you just knew each other and you maybe worked together uh your colleagues but this person like really took their time to really think like and make this decision very clearly and be sure and i'm sensing like now they are very sure of what they want they're sure of their feelings um and i'm sensing they cannot stop thinking about you pal number one and yeah going back to this nine of pentacles uh your person is really like willing to have that type of chill relaxed laid back type of relationship where both of you really know where you stand where everything is like based on a strong foundation both of you feel fulfilled relaxed safe secure in the connection have having like that committed type of relationship where you two can like you know you belong to each other you know you can count on each other no matter what the pentacles i see here like again representing that long-term commitment longevity like uh, their feelings are real right their feelings are um not just like passenger feelings they they are real and they want to have something stable with you okay especially we have the pentacles here as well the queen of cups is like a love that is very deep is true is honest yeah and this person is really like finding you irresistible they cannot last any longer you know like being uh, like not expressing at least how they feel about you okay let's take a look at your oracles for pal number one their thoughts and feelings about you so okay we have take a, a nap time for a nap so this card is a card of uh you know getting to to relax to enjoy to spend some time like either recharging your batteries rejuvenating and the nine of pentacles also represents relaxing represents enjoying life's pleasures uh, enjoying you know a bit of a break after working hard so i'm sensing that maybe this person you know like is really either thinking about you know asking you to go on a holiday with them maybe um here with time for a nap like relaxing a bit together getting to enjoy together these simple life pleasures like some time together that you get to spend and quality time and enjoy each other's company and um be the perfect romantic like escape for for them to really be getting closer to you um maybe they are going to be offering to pay for this holiday to like uh you know provide for everything because here we have the pentacles and represent like offering something 
um, especially from a materialistic point of view. Um, yeah. Also, the ace, as I said, uh, ace of wands especially represents like uh, something fresh, something exciting, something that like that's gonna be filled with passion. So they might be thinking about asking you to go on a holiday with them. That is going to be like this super romantic, super passionate, fiery, um, you know, time for the two of you where you two can really explore this attraction, or they feel like this is gonna be their time to maybe express this attraction for you but yeah i see that this person really wants to take some time away uh, from everyone else or to just like uh be just the two of you spending quality time together enjoying not rushing things or not having to worry about other things but just enjoying each other's company let's see what else we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so this person is really feeling like this connection is worth it they are ready to commit as i said they're ready to put in the intention the effort uh especially here with the six of pentacles uh they feel like this is a great love and it's all worth it to put in 100 that they have uh they feel guided to you know like either pursue you or like do everything that it takes you know to make this connection work like they are willing to have that type of relationship where they uh are going to be involved you know in 100 percent let's see what else we have about their thoughts and feelings for you seduction yes goes hand in hand with the ace of wands that i was seeing we have uh, again the word attraction so just a confirmation for you pal number one that this person feels very attracted to you they feel a strong passion we have flirting dating yes they want to ask you out they want to be more yeah like they're going to start being more flirty they're going to maybe want to get this time to spend together maybe a holiday maybe just a date right uh just some leisure time where you you can really enjoy each other's company like dating flirting um they feel very tempted to be with you as i said there's a lot of desire temptation in here okay all right so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number one i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hello my beautiful pal number two welcome to everyone who chose the yellow calcite crystal so let's take a look at what their thoughts and feelings are for you my dear pal number two so you were drawn to the prince of wands which is the knight of wands in the the original tarot so i'm sensing your person is feeling very very attracted to you the wands represent fire burning fire burning passion attraction finding you irresistible being very drawn to you like a magnet and um really having this strong desire to be with you too especially like when it comes to like physical attraction i'm sensing that this person really finds you like as i said attractive in the they are really thinking about being with you and they're thinking about being with you in that like more intimate way if you know what i mean so there's definitely this message like uh, straight off that this person feels a strong attraction and the knight of wands re usually represents like an offer coming for you or a reply or someone contacting you reaching out to you so i'm sensing that this person you know is thinking about expressing that this attraction expressing these feelings either asking you out right or as yeah asking you to go on a date um okay let's take a look at your tarot cards now and see more about their feelings for you pal number two their thoughts and feelings for pal number two whoa we've got so many cards straight away so we have the uh, the ace of pentacles we have the devil but i need to cover it uh because of youtube rules and we also have the ace of cups but hold on i need to cover the sun as well we have the sun so i'm going to put them like this okay i hope you don't mind but it's just because of youtube rules right so your cards like really jumped straight away there there is a strong message in here i'm sensing you know that this person feels like i see here two cards of aces two messages and confirmations that this person wants to offer like some sort of um opportunity or, or an offer of love or offer to start a connection or go out yeah with them because the aces represent like offering something right um some sort of as i said like a message contacting you i feel like this person 
uh is feeling like there's a bit of toxicity between you and then like between this uh you know in this connection that you might have whatever this connection is so either you work together you're in separation or uh you might be just like flirting or you really just like friends or you don't really interact in any way romantically i'm sensing that this person uh feels like there's some sort of toxicity maybe they see you as being a jealous person with the devil in there maybe they are the ones who are jealous okay because i see like um with the devil can be like both of your energies but i feel like it's more related to this person since we're looking at their thoughts and feelings so i i sense that this person is very jealous um over someone in your life over um you know the way maybe you are interacting with other people i'm sensing that you know this is a very strong passion that we see here this person tends to be maybe more emotional more like acting more like on on passion right in in intense feelings and sometimes that can lead to jealousy uh they are so drawn to and they feel this urge to to for you to be theirs for you to be with them and the pa uh, the passion is like sometimes leading to jealousy if you know things aren't the way they want uh also i sense a bit of need for control uh okay pile number two like needing to maybe create certain boundaries or like make sure they ask you out and be in an official relationship because then they're gonna, not gonna have to you know um see and witness certain things that make th makes them feel uncomfortable um but with that being said i do see here with the sun that you you know they feel again the sun is fire so they feel very happy very excited very joyful whenever they get to spend time with you whenever they see you maybe you two have a lot of fun together or they feel like in your company they are having a lot of fun they feel like they're having the time of their life they feel overall very positive um very good being around you or yeah whenever they think about being together with you is like that's like something that makes them really happy that would be something that uh is is making them super happy okay and i feel like um maybe between the two of you there's like banter you know like they, they are able to express their more child uh heart self more of that youthful energy more of that vibrant energy of theirs like they can be themselves around you they feel like they can be natural um and i'm sensing like overall there's this super intense feeling of uh, attraction that they have for you in wanting to be spending more time with you okay going back to these aces um i i do sense that this person is willing to ask you out to confess their feelings to confess their attraction the ace of cups is definitely a card of love of like a card of showing how much you love a person so th this is the, what they are thinking about of asking you out expressing how they feel uh and the cups um the ace of cups represents like an overflowing love so their feelings are really strong okay no doubt that they're feeling jealous uh from time to time I i'm sensing like this person is really really into you and they want to offer you their heart okay like you've got the key to their heart pile number two and also with the ace of pentacles uh, again a, an offer of a new beginning so they want to start a relationship with you based on commitment okay the pentacles represents a long-term re relationship so they want to like say hey look i'm into i'm so attracted to you I, I i'm in love with you even like with the ace of cups this person is in love with you okay and uh, they want to start a loving a romantic relationship where you know they can feel also loved and they can offer you their affection and be super uh, romantic with you and also they want to have a long-term relationship they don't want just to have fun uh they don't want to just um have a a connection that's like on and off they want something secure they want something stable hence the jealousy right like uh they don't want something to just so they feel jealous because they want to all for themselves and they want to have this like serious committed uh secure relationship that's long term and they feel ready to, to have this they feel ready to commit to you they they want to do this okay um, let's take a look at your oracles now, pile number two. 
and see more about their thoughts and feelings for you okay so we've got chop wood and we also have tiktok so with chop wood i'm sensing that this person is ready to put in the work uh in order to pursue you in order to show you that they truly care about you how much they are into you um okay and also with the tiktok card i'm sensing that they feel some sort of pressure like time is ticking and they feel like uh you know they want this to happen as soon as possible okay uh their their passion is like calling inside of them and it's like burning their their heart and it's like go after pile number two do tell them how how uh, you feel about them so i'm sensing overall that they feel some sort of pressure like uh if they waste any more time or time any longer then you might not uh be interested or you might maybe this because you might have a connection with someone or like you might be having like uh, talking to certain people you know just getting to know certain people uh, maybe you're out there dating and they feel like this pressure of like if they don't act quick then they might lose the chance the opportunity to be with you okay let's take a look at another oracle card we have new love so a new person has stirred your romantic feelings yes you are that new person pal number two that stirred their romantic feelings you are that new person that made them fall in love yeah like they are in love with you they their feelings like uh, the romantic feelings are being like stirred as they say like by this passion by this attraction um it's all new it's all fresh and that's why we have these two cards of fresh energy of a, a new start a new relationship okay so i'm sensing like for the majority of you in pile number two it might resonate that this person is someone you met uh new and is uh, you you didn't know before okay let's see what else we have coffee cup meeting and conversing yes savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so we i love that we have the feeling uplifted message and it does match with the sun it's just a confirmation to what i was saying that this person feels very uplifted whenever they're around you they feel very positive like they're getting this positive energy and influence from you uh maybe you two are having a really good uh relationship of friendship okay they feel like they can both be friends with you and also lovers because uh that's why like maybe they are so sure that you know they want this stable relationship with you they feel in love with you because it's more not just like attraction but like even like soul connection and also as i say like they feel that can be they can be natural with you they can be themselves and they're having a lot of fun with you they are savoring every moment they get to spend with you but they want to get more of you okay um because they desire you so much and we have meeting and conversing so yes this person might even come and ask you out on a date or ask you out on a coffee like uh to in order to talk and confess their feelings so this person is thinking about asking you out asking you to like get to spend with them some time to talk about uh their feelings to to meet and converse more about how they feel and maybe even like ask you out um tell you like there's this intention that they have so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number two i really hope you enjoyed your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hello my beautiful pal number three welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the amethyst crystal so let's take a look at what this person's thoughts and feelings for you are so my dear you were drawn to the nine of swords card and this is representing anxiety this is representing quite low vibrational energy like a low mental space uh, i'm sensing this person is overthinking a lot or thinking and replaying certain events a lot in their head that are causing some distress i'm sensing that they're not happy right now they're really uh having like sleepless nights uh not resting properly um always like having these thoughts that are putting a lot of weight on them um maybe it's like regret maybe feeling guilty maybe uh feeling hurt uh but either way you know i'm sensing that they are just feeling really uneasy uh distressed and anxious maybe even going through an episode like depression um 
they are not going through a really good time in their life. This is what I'm sensing. They feel like they're being stabbed. And especially like when it comes to the mind space, okay? I'm, I'm sensing like this is more about their mind. Like uh, from, from a mental point of view, they're not doing well and they are going through a hard time, okay, uh, right now. They are very unhappy about something that's going on between you and them. Let's take a look at your tarot cards and see more about their thoughts and feelings. For pile number three, we have the eight, eight of cups. We have the ten of wands. Let's see. Pile number three, their thoughts and feelings for you. We have the hierophant. Okay. Their thoughts and feelings. I was sensing these two cards like jumping. Uh, and it was the judgment, which I need to cover, and the nine of pentacles. Okay. Okay, so pal number three. What I'm picking up here is that this person is feeling really unhappy, as I said, and they are thinking about like moving away, you know, from this connection because it's something that is really weighting them down is dragging their energy down i feel like it's not an easy decision so we have the judgment which represents a really important decision something that's like life-changing something that comes with like a lot of thought put into it right and i'm sensing that this person is craving stability mentally especially like they want to find a good place they want to find peace they want to feel secure and, and stable i sense that this person has very strong values and principles you know that they really care about they hold dear to their heart and they are not willing to accept compromising on those things maybe this has something to do for some of it's going to resonate with like beliefs like religious beliefs or like from a spiritual point of view like they, this person feeling like maybe from a spiritual point of view that you two are not compatible or you you two are not seeing eye to eye or like there's something that really is distressing them maybe it has something to do with traditions this person maybe wants to get married maybe you don't want to get married or maybe this person wants like a stable relationship i see here they want they crave stability and security in a connection they're willing to put in the work but maybe you, you're not feeling ready um yeah i feel like you know this person is just overall like struggling a lot and they feel like with the ten of wands they they've put maybe a lot of effort into this connection or like a lot of their a lot of their emotions and, and feelings like went into this connection and they feel like they've put their all 100 percent. and i'm sensing that maybe they feel like they are not getting enough or they're not getting what they deserve or like the, something is like really um, bringing them down and they feel the need to disconnect from you to move on from this connection from you from this relationship so either like this person is thinking about breaking up or maybe you are not even together anymore and this person is thinking about leaving this connection in the past or whatever you had together in the past and as i said I repeat it's not something easy it doesn't come easy to them they're putting in a lot of effort they're struggling here with the ten of wands they're so much like trying to to keep this decision for themselves because they feel like ultimately it's going to be the best for them in the long term right now they're not happy they're definitely not happy so maybe they bro broke up with you and now they're going through this process of uh you know forgetting about you and that's why they are going through this hard time mentally there that's why they have these sleepless nights this anxiety this stress this depression right so they maybe are going through this process uh that you know they left maybe still having feelings for you and it was really not easy you know here it looks like they're still standing cups you know that means they were still attached there were still feelings in there but either way you decide to to turn your back and to find something better or go towards something else move on leave that leave that specific thing in the past because it's no longer making you happy but it's hard you you're finding really hard emotionally to leave that behind okay so this is sort of what they're going through they're they're very low uh like energetically speaking they're not happy they're struggling um 
And I do see that they are willing to get more time for themselves uh, to heal, to make sure that they are, you know, practicing self-love, self-care to reach to a point where they feel stable. They, they aim for stability, for emotional uh, balance. Um, and yeah, I do sense that this person is really like choosing to love themselves this way and um yeah they're going to be focusing on like taking a break uh, or um, getting to spend some leisure time like just doing what they feel like it's fulfilling them what makes them happy enjoying uh solo time could be as well or time in nature or a vacation or taking some time to just enjoy themselves and put back their pieces together okay Let's take a look at your oracles now, panel number three, and see what else we have about their thoughts and feelings. So we have milk and honey. Yeah, with the with the um, rainbow, I'm sensing that this person really has like high hopes for what's next. Um, they really feel like they're going to find, you know, stability in in maybe a person to get married to. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing here that they're thinking about marriage. They're thinking about serious relationship, right? Um, and I feel here, yeah, with the milk and honey, they really look forward to finding happiness, finding balance again, finding peace again. And I feel like that is going to be something they do for themselves. Here with the nine of pentacles, this is about enjoying, you know, like yourself about taking time to really uh, focus on self-love and here it's like they're going to be bathing you know in milk and honey this makes me think about taking a nice bath really indulging in self-care you know like really taking that time that opportunity to focus on yourself and build yourself back as i said like big, bring back your pieces together okay let's take a look at another Oracle card for Pan of A, their thoughts and feelings for you. Oh, we have three cards that decided to jump. And we have it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Right, so I feel like pal number three, this person like noticed some red flags you know and they decided to finally pay attention to those red flags that maybe they were cautioning them they felt like they you know these red flags were uh in there trying to give them a sign to caution them and they choose they chose maybe to to close their eyes in, in front of these red flags for a while now but now they're choosing to pay attention to them maybe this is even what makes them leave and made them you know choose to leave this connection in the past in the first place um I'm sensing here that, you know, they are trying to keep this positive mindset. As I said, they're trying to really heal and, and not let themselves be crushed by this experience. They choose to feel like uh, and believe that it's safe for them to love. It's safe to still be open in the face of love. Try to not close their heart um, and try to stay open to to offer and receive love you know in case they're going to find someone else but they do believe that you know this was the romance of their lifetime they felt true love for you and that's why it's so hard in here to live as i said this so many cups like still standing up to represent that their feelings were, were there 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 was true uh, true love this was something really meaningful to them they were really attached to you emotionally physically and they live with a lot of pain in their heart okay let's take a look at another oracle card pal number three so we have wedding rings and i did say that this person is thinking about wedding and getting married we have union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise you know, I feel like this person really wanted maybe to get married to you. Maybe this person really wanted to like uh, have this union, you know, like they offered you their everlasting promise and they thought this is going to be forever. Like this is that romance of their lifetime and that it was going to be like, this is it. This is my person. I'm getting married. And they realized certain red flags and they chose, you know, to, yeah, like, listen to those red flags even though 
they had like high expectations for this connection you know it is really is really interesting waiting and it's quite heavy energies in here like this person is feeling very low and and upset and they're struggling as i said um yeah they might be like dreaming that maybe in the future you know maybe somehow things are gonna be better between the two of you but for the time being i'm sensing they, they feel like what's best is to leave okay so yeah this is everything that i have for you my beautiful plan number three i hope you found some value into your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye